Okay, in this video, we're going to go through how to automatically find internal linking opportunities in Screaming Frog using whatever keyword research tool uh, you choose. So I'll be using uh, SEMrush, but you could also use Ahrefs, uh, Search Console, or really any keyword tracking tool uh, that you can really sort by position. So we're really looking for those fringe ranking ones that we're trying to give a boost. So I'm sorting between positions 4 and 20. Uh, to see which ones are kind of just right there but are not getting enough traffic yet. So we can just kind of scroll down and see. I got a lot for, you know, the content template, but you just want to find little snippets of these keywords because you might not have this exact terminology in there. Um, so we'll jump over to Screaming Frog after we choose which ones we want to search for. And in the configuration under Custom and Search, you can toss in exactly what kind of variations you want to see. So I have like a, a project template, but I just use project to try and catch everything. Um, same with content calendar and content audit, because if I don't have SEO in front of it, it might not catch it. So I really just kind of want to make it a little bit more broad um, so that the crawler will pick it up. And then it's up to you to make a judgment call. It's, it's the context around that terminology enough to warrant a link. Another important thing to add here is this regex. So this makes sure that uh, case sensitivity is not going to flag it. So if I started a sentence with capital C, you know, this might not be uh, caught if it was regular HTML. So this will kind of clear you there. So when you're ready to go, uh, you got all your keywords in here. You just hit OK. You can finish up your configuration or any other kind of crawl analysis you want to set. But then you can just hit start. And then you'll see under the custom search here, it's way down in the navigation here you'll see content template, HTML sitemap, where, how many times these are found in your content. So some of these may be linked, some of them may not be, but now it's time to export this. And I, I already went through the crawl and we can kind of see how this looks now. So got all your different terms that we crawled for. And one we can start off with to see is HTML sitemap. This is one that I have a pretty good article on, on how to create a HTML and XML sitemap yourself with development resources. Um, are just too weighed down, but you can see only HTML sitemap is mentioned on the actual article that I want to link to. This shows me I have a big content gap here that I'm never referencing this again. So it's kind of just sitting alone by itself on the website. There's no other blogs that reference it. So to me, that's a big gap that I need to go back into some of my old articles that could be related and reference, you know, the importance of an HTML sitemap or anything like that where I can link to it. On the flip side, you can go again, sort by largest to smallest to see different uh, pages that are referencing your other keywords that you want to search. One being XML sitemap, very related to the previous one, but in my pre and post launch SEO audit checklist, we can open it up. And as it loads, we can then search for that keyword. So XML sitemap, mentioned it seven times, we have four of them here, nothing linked. And three more times here, nothing linked. This, this is a big gap right here. We definitely want to get that internal link. So just in my spreadsheet, I just mark it green real quick to be like, here's an opportunity. And I just keep kind of going down the list um, and finding these opportunities, marking them either green or red. Red, obviously bad, not an opportunity or green. Hey, we have an internal linking opportunity. When I get through this list, then you just throw a podcast on, throw some music on and just start adding your internal links. Um, save them, publish them, do whatever you need to do, and then just watch uh, the progress over time as you start to make these connections, these internal links of votes of confidence that Google and search engines like Bing want um, for all of your content out there. So very simple process. I did a very short one here with just a couple terms, but as far as I know, there's really no limit on the custom search, but you don't want to do too many because you'll never get through the list. But Crawling throughout your entire site to find different terms is, is huge, huge time saver. Um, but like this HTML sitemap, if you're finding that certain terms that you're fringe ranking for or you should be ranking for are returning zero results, that's a big content gap. So it's another area that you can utilize this function for. Say, hey, maybe we should start focusing on creating some content here. So again, very simple process here with the automatic uh, internal linking opportunities. Hopefully you guys find it helpful. Um, if it works, if it doesn't work, or you run into any issues, please reach out to me in the comments or on my social channels. Thanks guys.